video. Today we're doing a comparison video. So I'm going to compare an original to its flanker. Let's not stall. Let's jump right into this video. Hey guys, so today I am going to be comparing I Want You by Jimmy Choo against I Want You Forever. So they are very different fragrances. Um, but I will preface the whole video by saying I really love both of them. I am each girl at different points so i felt like i needed both in my collection but i'll give you all the facts on both and then you choose which one you like the best so um yeah let's get into it okay let's start with the og original so some facts of it will pop on the screen i believe one of the perfumers is antoine mason do and i really really love love his combinations um but all the notes will pop up somewhere on the screen i don't know if i'm going to put them over here or over here but you'll see them soon but anyway first of all the bottle the bottle is absolutely stunning i had to get wrap my mind around not having to pull the top off because all you have to do is just spray there's the um the nozzle right there but let's go ahead and like spray some in the air Obviously, you've seen the notes already, but this is a burst of peach and mandarin. So peach is a top note um, as well as mandarin. It does have some jasmine and it does have some vanilla. This is a creamy peach bomb. I absolutely love this one. Now, some would say this is more of a summer scent, but for me, the vanilla brings it into fall and winter, and I absolutely love it. If you are more of a creamy fruity type of girl you like those uh fruity gourmands with hints of creaminess then i think that you will love this one now i can say the longevity on the jimmy choo fragrances that i own is really 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 impeccable um they last pretty long on my skin i do however always put an oil base down and that's with any fragrance so take that how you will um but this sticks to my skin so there's that but this just is such a dreamy scent i believe that it's so underrated and the price point is nice i believe this size bottle is like a little over 130 um and they have another size in most most stores right now have this in a set so if it's something that you think that you would love now is the time to buy it I absolutely adore so it. This though. one gives me like brunch with girls out in the city um, doing like regular fun activities. Something where you want to stand out a little bit but not overdo it. It's not, I wouldn't wear it at nighttime at all. Um, this one definitely leans more for a daytime fun scent in my opinion. But of course, scent is subjective. You wear it when you want to wear it. But that's just my thought in process. Past, I haven't been so fond of peach scents but this one is just so perfect and so well blended that I just, I'm addicted to it. I really, really love it. Hence the huge bottle when you know I have over 200 and something bottles, but I still felt like I needed a full one of this particular fragrance. So peach vanilla goodness is what you get from Jimmy Choo. I want you. I want you forever. The notes will pop up on the screen as well as some other facts, but let's go ahead and spray this in the air. Remember, you don't have to take the top off. You just need to spray it. Now this one, guys, this one is just delicious. This is the sexier sister of the original. So it doesn't really have any um, notes that even remotely resemble the original. This is a fruity burst, but it has grounding notes like vetiver, oak moss, it has tonka bean, it has almond, it has cherry. This is just so, so sexy. It's a gorgeous one. As soon as I smelled it, I said, I need this fragrance. I need this fragrance. If you love cherry and you love almond, guys, you got to get your nose on this one. This one is just everything for me. Now, this one I would wear at nighttime or like all black or um, to an event where I just want to smell delicious, sexy and delicious. This is just gorgeous, okay? I have on a fragrance today, but I'm going to put her on because she's giving me everything, okay? I love this one. The cherry is not too tart. It gives you like 
it's just a beautiful cherry note. It doesn't give me sugary sweet. It doesn't give me syrup. It doesn't give me tart. It just gives me fabulous, okay? The bitter almond in this, sexy, tonka, sexy, vetiver, sexy. It's just a really, really intoxicating scent. And it leaves the most beautiful cloud of cherry, vanilla, almond in the air. Vetiver grounds it so it doesn't make it overly gourmand. I don't even get those vibes with this. It's just such a gorgeous scent. The wear time, impeccable. It lasts all day on me um, or all night if I'm wearing it at nighttime. But this is just one that I fell in love with instantly and the bottle is just so gorgeous in to me. In my opinion, there's definitely room for both in my collection um, because they are vastly vastly different um but you have to go with what you like the most if you're picking one but i say get them both if you got it in your in your budget get both of them because they are both just really really well done okay guys that is the long and the short of this comparison video show me some love in the comments make sure you like the video if this was informative to you um make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already and that's all i have for you guys today until next time love y'all bye what you talking about